you're going to have some folks, some beings, some souls getting recycled. They're going to go, they're just going to fly right into the, to the subconscious fan. But what you have to be on point with is realizing that con your control of your life force, this is another high point. Your control of your life force is very similar to when you're in a, a air balloon and you have that thing that and you lift up. And then you had the other thing that, you know, it can pull you down, right? That's your life force control, basically. And you have to realize that your life force is so important. It's not worth any, ain't nobody's worth the life force. This is like you giving them a thousand dollars right away off bat. Like, listen, think about how backwards this is. That's what I tell you. The world is really backwards. Imagine a person pisses me off and I give them a thousand dollars. Does that make sense? I'm, I'm telling you, we're literally doing that. We're, per, we're giving them more than that. How much is your life for, force worth? You would have to be able to calculate your own value to be able to determine that, right? So when you know that you have a high value, you know that your life force, like, whoa, they'll be coming for it. So you got to buoy yourself up sometime. But I'm just saying, imagine that you're building life force and then someone taps you for your life force. They make you mad. They make you upset. You're tapped in a little bit to the external. One of your one of your chakras has a tentacle trying to see the world externally and it's plugged into another being that is trying to see the world externally. <laughs> and then you catch a reaction. And then what happens? Life, you lose life force. Why? Okay. <laughs> Very simple. Let's just put this, in the, put this in the realm of kids. When you laugh, you gain life force. When you're sad, you lose life force. It's as simple as that. OK, so when you laugh and you teach yourself how to laugh as things are being confirmed to you, it's not a joker laugh <laughs> like, you know, you're going mad. <laughs> it's not that laugh. I'm talking about the real laugh like, whoa, it is really like that. The folks, man, they just they haven't even come out of the underworld yet. It's like I'm, I'm just I'm on the way up. Yeah, I, I catch you when we get back. Yeah, you know, it's just like starting to really realize that the behavior you're seeing is actually because of the product of the realm or the dimension that that being is in. So a person can be in a dementia, right? Just as soon as a person can have nightmares, a person could be in a whole different dimension and you can be standing right there next to them and they can be articulating and talking about things from their dimension. And now as time lords, we have an opportunity to get into any dimension, but you got to ask yourself if you want to enter into any of these dark realms that some of these beings have going on where everyone's the enemy. Everything is evil. The whole thing. It's like, even if it all is, <laughs> it's got you too. But it's, it's like, you know, I would just defy it anyway by having a smile on my face. You know, it's like at the end, like the laugh box, but it's a real one. Like I'm just there laughing and like, man, he just couldn't buy into the whole death thing. You being like this is the full potential of who you truly are. So life force control was a big, big one. And again, we're, we're cruising along over the high points. Now, also remember you are in respect then until you decide to win the battle actually in a battle. So some don't want to accept that as like, man, I'm not in the battle, but you know, it's just as soon as like there's bacteria that are out here, there are, you know, you had a battle when you first were born, just getting into the womb after the whole 5,000 or whatever semen was trying to do the same thing. You had a battle, you know, just staying alive, staying alive in the womb. You know, your mom was partying, ah, 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 you know what I mean? You're just like trying to stay alive. Then you came out and now you're just trying to figure out where you are. And like somebody drop you out of crib, boom, staying alive. And it's just a battle again. And then now some virus, some code. And then now here we are in 2021, there's an airborne virus that's supposed to be killing people. And you know, we're all walking around with masks on and somebody's trying to tell me that it is now is not the time <laughs> that we still have a little bit more time. This looks like Blade Runner damn near out here right now. So when, it, when, it, when is it all going to kick in? It kicks in now this application of this knowledge and this wisdom that we have. So just remembering that these forces that you're battling against these bad habits, if you may, are hobbits, you know, these are the ones that they, they, we call them King Ingle. They assault, they assault the entire throne room and take over and try to use all the chakras, mainly the lower ones for immediate pleasures. Like they just keep cashing out and cashing out on your balance, <laughs> literally. And in this, 
you got to imagine that they wouldn't even give you a space as long or as wide as a needle of freedom unless you take it. To be free is to be out of the body, to glide on beyond this experience, to, to get out the box, which you're going to see how this is structured here in a moment. But you got to remember that the opponent, if you may, in the game being played in the box, wouldn't even give you a breadth of a needle of your consciousness if it was up to it. It would take every single moment of your life and your existence, working, distracted over here, drinking, on, the, on this plane, going to this country with these girls, hollering at this one guy, whatever, on a nonstop basis so it can keep trying to run, it looks like it, it, it's like trying to command your mains or trying to command your chakras or your horses. And it's just, they're just running off further and further into the external world like madness. It wouldn't give you any of that back unless you took it. That's why we always say, steal your mind. Take your mind back. Steal your mind. This means to stop your mind. Steal your mind, meaning to take your mind back. So also remember, as we talked about earlier, how, how does that manifest normally? A person cannot resist doing things that are even killing them. That's, that's how much this war is, is on and popping right now. A person will just go right through a bottle of Coca-Cola, just scotch out every organ, which are your chakras. And then from that point, this chakra is damaged. It has too much glucose, too much glutamate, too much sugar, too much. This is not fuel that can be honored up to the higher devas of self. If anything, this is going to produce a, a, a distorted daemon aspect of self. It's going to lower the vibration. And that's just what's happening. It's chemistry. Right? So again, it tastes so good though. I'm not here to tell you if you're doing that, that you're the bad one because there's a whole list, right? I'm just saying you're the manager and the Lord of your own life and just watch yourself sometime. See how many things that are on that list that you're even doing that, you know, is killing you. And then realize that knowledge and awareness that the war that we face within the beings that we're dealing with in there, they wouldn't even give us a little bit of our lives unless we took it back. So that's what rouses us on the field today. That's what rouses us here for this knowledge and this awareness. That's what has me here that I will always rage against this dying of the light. I will always keep bucking the system, keep making sure that I'm on point, keep making sure that I bring this message. I'm going to always be doing that. And it's just, it fills my being. It fills my purpose. So we have to find this also in ourselves.